Hi and welcome back to Survey of Engineering. In this video we will talk about what engineering is and how it differs from the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics or STEM. Specifically we will focus on how engineering is different from science and engineering technology. Here are the portfolio questions for this video. What is the difference between engineers and scientists? What is the difference between engineers and engineering technologists? Please pause the video and take a minute to write these questions in your notebook, leaving space for you to fill in the answers as you go through the rest of the video. So what are engineers anyway? Engineers are people who use creative design and analysis processes that incorporate energy, materials, motion, and information to serve human needs in innovative ways. Another way to describe engineering is the practical application of science and math to find solutions to problems. Theodore von Karman, who was an early pioneer in America's aerospace industry, described the difference between scientists and engineers. He said, scientists study the world as it is. Engineers create the world that never has been. While there is some overlap between scientists and engineers, especially in the areas of engineering theoretical research, scientists are generally interested in discovering things and acquiring new knowledge. Engineers are generally interested in the application of knowledge. For example, a scientist studies the planets in the solar system to understand them. An engineer studies the planets to design a spacecraft to operate in the environment of that planet. As another example, a scientist creates new chemical compounds in a laboratory. An engineer creates processes to mass produce new chemicals, new chemical compounds. The Technology Accreditation Commission of ABET, which is the accreditation organization for college and university applied science and engineering programs, defines engineering technology as the profession in which a knowledge of mathematics and natural sciences gained by higher education, experience, and practice is devoted primarily to the implementation and extension of existing technology for the benefit of humanity. This means that engineering technology lies on the very applied end of the engineering spect spectrum. There is also overlap between engineers and engineering technologists. Engineering technology lies on the more applied end of the spectrum with careers focused on the use of existing technology. Engineering extends into the more theoretical areas of research and design. Engineering tech students spend time working with the equipment they will use in their career. Engineers create new technology through research, design, and development. Students who study engineering will spend more time with theory and mathematics. For example, an engineering technologist identifies the computer networking equipment necessary for a business to meet its needs and oversees the installation of that equipment. Whereas, an engineer designs new computer boards to transmit data faster. As another example, an engineering technologist identifies the proper building materials and oversees the construction of a new building. An engineer determines the proper support structure, taking into account the local soil, proposed usage of the building, earthquake risks, and other design requirements. For class next time, if you haven't already done so, go back and answer 
the portfolio questions based on the information presented in this video. Be prepared to discuss your answers in class and to make your own descriptions of work that an engineer might do versus that of a scientist or an engineering technologist.